Greetings, welcome back to the channel. Yes, we have another model video. <laughs> Be several of these. I have been going through all the files and reordering and finding lost pictures on old phones. Cell phones, that is. Three of them to be exact. I've been spending a lot of time getting through the pictures. Some of these here are off of Facebook that I posted. And as you can see, I've got them listed down here at the bottom what they are. So uh, I know what I'm talking about, kind of, maybe so. Hmm. I have another set of pictures that are the originals, which are, you know, duplicate pictures, but they have the dates on them. Oddly enough, there's 200 of them, including <laughs> all the duplicates. We'll just do like we did on the last video. I'll do a little talking and I'll keep hitting the space bar and we'll just zoom right on through these, kind of, maybe so. Anyway, I digress. This model I built back when I was 16 years old. I built just like this box art, which I got off the internet. <laughs> and it was this new build. I, I seen this picture in passing and I thought, you know what? That'd be a cool car to make. Well. I knew that the delivery van was in bad shape and in pieces from being hauled around for 30 years. I liked the color scheme of this vehicle, minus the, tire, the wheels and tires, of course. But there's two-tone green, and then I'm assuming that's a black top on the green sides which I did not do. I made mine all black, I think. Two different cars, so the body styles are different. So here's where I was checking out the colors, figuring out how to make and mix my paints, which I finally got done. And there's the paint. It's a, a mint Christmas green, I believe it was. Can't say for sure. What I did was I just took and added some black to it to make it the darker, the darker color. And there's the putties I use. Uh, I used this for a little bit. I did not like it. So I went out and bought some regular bundo. <laughs> yeah. I still have this. It's four years old now, but I doubt it's any good. But the bundle's still good. And here is the vehicle I, that I put together when I was 16. And as you can see, it's in pieces. Uh, this is the way I found it in the box after packing around forever. As you can see, I painted it just like the box art. Black top and red and no shebang. Here's some parts that uh, I will be probably using. Uh, there's a the new engine. It's a Chrysler engine. I think it's a Hemi. I can't say for sure. I just found it in a box of junk going to use one of these engines or flatheads in it and I decided to use the crash one. Here's the original engine that was in it. It was a four banger. And here it is. You can see the I stripped the paint and an uh, awesome degreaser. And if you look, look at all the blotches in the 
and the fenders and stuff. That's what was under the paint. The paint actually looked like this before I took the um, put the purple the purple palm the awesome degreaser. Uh, this is the hood frame and the hood pin. This is the hood pin, hinge pin, and uh, putting it in the. It was still stuck to the uh, cowl. The awesome stuff kind of disintegrated it. So we were in the process of making a new one here. Yeah, I know this green is painted. <laughs> so like I said, some of these pictures are out of order, but I, I put them in order of the beginning, uh, paint part number six, you know, painting the hood frame, whatnot. There's a little pin, and there it is after it's put together. If you notice, these have hose are here now. They were not here. <laughs> There's a reason for that later. Some extra parts, pieces. I may be using. Uh, well, uh, I took the horn and made a hollowed out the horn so it looked like a real Uga horn. Uh, here's the Chrysler engine built but we're, uh, the way we're going to use it. And uh, the rear axle and whatnot. Here yeah, we're fixing the door hinges because that kit had the opening doors. The back door and the front doors opened. Well, this thing was so warped. I finally actually gave up on doing this. I got it done, but the doors didn't hinge quite right. Running on that same problem with the hood. Here, we're making new headlight lenses. You see this right here with the black circle? That's just a piece of plastic. And I scored it to make it look like headlights to, to put lenses in here. And there's with the lens in it. Doesn't look too bad. Grandpa Mark's or hobbies would probably put lights in that. <laughs> That's back before then. That was five years ago when I built this. And here's where I'm cutting out some new glass. Because you know, all the glass was bad. These are plastic uh, lids. Yeah. Here I'm trying to fix hood hinges. And there's the uh, old cow support that just kept falling apart while I was trying to fix these hood hinges. So I got the hinges made for the center of the top hoods. So I was trying to get these the side panels fixed. And I tell you, it's a, to get all four of them hooked together and working is a, was a can of worms. Here we're looking at uh, doing body work on the uh, frame and Fenders. This was a ongoing theme of this red putty. Yeah. What we're done here, this is the, uh, I had to raise the engine up. Hence the reason why I had to cut the far wall. <laughs> but she'll bore that later. And this was a Revell kit. As you can see, there's no year or date on it, but that's what was on the bottom of it. Here's some more of the pictures of the fenders. Don't have no idea what all that splotchiness was. I don't remember that being on there as a kid. Look at this. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, really. It looks like somebody just hacked at it. 
uh, I showed this on my face group page. Back when I was on Facebook, nobody ever seen anything like it. And this was under the paint, and you could see it through the, the old red paint. And that was an old red enamel paint. Now, if it's something the old tester's enamel paint did, I, I don't know. But no matter what I do, primered it and primered it and put the red putty on it, primered it, put more red putty on it. I finally got it covered up. We're just painting various parts here. We're starting to sound with a two-tone. You can see the mint green paint. It's pretty paint. And I got the top all taped off and doing the two-tone. That top's black and this is the dark green and the light green underneath. Paint the doors, more doors. All three doors, there's the engine, the hood. I decided not to use the side panels. Well, the, for one thing, the Hemi heads hang out. Hmm, there's the Uga horn. Four paint pictures. We're still, still working on this. <laughs> it's looking better. You don't, you don't see the uh, scratches quite so much. And we're still, still, still filling in. As you can see right there. Once again. And there's the black paint on it. Looks pretty good. There's the floor pan. There's the hood laying on the cab. And there's a cab with all the tape off. Did a little mock up. Like I said, I ended up gluing the doors on because this is so warped so bad. I had to spread it apart to get it on here and glue it down. And then it was twisted, so I glued it down and untwisted it, but the doors didn't fit right. But the back door works perfectly, <laughs> and it still does. Got the seats painted up. Kind of sitting on the frame, bits of it. There are the buckets inside the cab. It's not looking too bad. Now you can see the colors of the two different greens. All I did was took this green and put a black in it, made it a darker green. And it pretty well matched the picture. Took a lot of tries though. Here we're just setting things around, mocking things up. Not looking bad. There's the engine. Like I said, I found it in the junk box and took and put pieces on it and made an engine out of it. And it might be some Chevy parts on there, some Ford parts on there, but it's an engine. And I made it fit into the, the uh, model T-frame. Got the axles under. That's right there is when I decided it wasn't going to fit because there's that header panel comes down this way at an angle. I couldn't slide it all the way forward because it was hitting the heads. So I just decided to cut this off and flatten it and then it fit fine.
So there's the first batch of pictures. If you hang on a minute, we'll go back and get the others. Okay, here's the uh, second batch of pictures. There's where I'm getting ready to, to drill the horn out. And there's the horn drilled out. Working on the front wheels. And I know these are... I sh should have took these off, but I didn't. I wanted to let them, leave them on there. So there's a build-up for... I had to add to get the engine to set in there right. Because normally the engine sets right here. But I needed to set here. <laughs> Spruce. That's what you use. And all this stuff I found uh, worked pretty good. Yeah, this is a cab before I cut those off. And there's a picture once again how we <laughs> what it looked like when we started see these are the wheels that came with it I didn't I did not use those here we're trying to figure out what to do about this part here oops back up Bruce and this is a <laughs> the transmission hanger <laughs> that's gonna sit right back here as you can see right there's where it's sitting There's the second batch of pictures. Looks pretty good if you ask me. I know, it's got the wrong wheels with those on there. Because those are supposed to be brakes. Give me, give me a break, whatever. I built it the way I wanted it. <laughs> There's a picture of the inside. And originally they had lights up here on the sides. I put them down here in the front. Yeah, I know. You see that astral bit. Don't pay attention to it. You can't see it yet. <laughs> so for being a you know, falling apart in the box model it turned out pretty good if you ask me yeah the awesome fogged up the windows that plastic I mean awesome floor shine duh but that's okay it's a frosted glass. That's what it is. <laughs> but these are all the pictures I put on Facebook. I was taking, you know, walking pictures up. And by the way, that is an actual K&S Autos. Me and my cousin ran out our own auto shop for years. So that is an actual name. Although that's not the real town. <laughs> but I like Scott's World. It works pretty good for me. These I found in the junk box. I have no idea what the tail lights are off of. And I printed these, these tags off of that license plate app on the internet. But I like it. It's in a display case. I finally bought a couple of those. 
It's because I want to see how you fasten all of the models inside of them. I figured that out. It's called bread ties. <laughs> of the uh, delivery van that I built when I was 16 and now I rebuilt it again when I was <laughs> 64 or 5. And by the way, these are not taillights. But I made them into taillights. They're spotlights. <laughs> I just now noticed that. Anyhow. That's the, uh, the way she looks. And I, I did leave the slicks on her after all. But I think she looks pretty good. Just like that. And for those with the keen eye, yes, I forgot to put the door handles on. And guess what? They're still not on there. <laughs> uh, rumor has it they're taped under uh, on the inside of the door. Hmm. So, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, enjoyed redoing this model but it was a, a challenge to get all those whatever those marks are out of it a lot of a lot of a uh, scratch and dent filler <laughs> so thank you again for watching god bless take care be kind to your neighbors you never know when you're gonna see them again we'll see you later bye bye